so I'm here today to do another YA to adult book recommendations video. Now I did one of these in the past where I took four young adult books and recommended a adult book on the basis of each young adult book. So for those of you that are trying to read more adult literature, it gives you an idea of some books that you might like but also just does the job of if you liked one book you might like another book. So equally you might have liked a adult book and fancy reading the young adult book I recommend. But without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Now the first young adult book I have here is Black Cairn Point by Claire McFall. Now, now I did an entire video about scary Scottish stories where I talked about this book and this book is, like you might have guessed, set in Scotland. And it is a kind of scary that follows a young girl and her friends who go camping and whilst they're camping they disturb what seems to be a, a pagan burial site some sort of ancient Scottish site that starts a series of terrifying events that kind of leads to some really horrific things happening in their lives and a bit of a mystery unfolds and it flips between the present day where our main character is now in a mental hospital and the past which is when they were on this trip and the original events that influenced her ending up in this mental hospital took place. Now the book I want to recommend on this basis is actually set quite a bit earlier than this book as it is set in the 18th century and that is Silma Hill by Ian Maloney and although this is set in the 18th century I really feel like they gave me similar vibes and I feel like if you liked one you may like the other. This too is set in Scotland and it is set in rural Scotland a bit like this one and it follows the events in a small village when ancient religious totem is found, uh, a, an idol of some sort, a wooden idol is unearthed and the priest in the village becomes really interested in it and wants to know more about it but in the meantime there's some strange occurrences in the village and a death closely follow the, the finding of this item and the people in the village decide that this is witchcraft and the priest's daughter in fact gets accused of witchcraft and it's quite an unsettling book, a little bit eerie, there's mysteries in there because you don't really know what's going on. Is it witchcraft? Is it to do with this idol or is it normal people in this village doing something to upset the balance? And because of that I think that these have similarities and I think this is worth checking out if you enjoyed this. Next I'm going to go for a young adult book that you've probably all read <laughs> and that is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Sorry my copy is so shiny. Um, yes, a very, very hyped young adult series and I too really enjoyed it. I, I did. I really enjoyed the series. I think it's a really great young adult dystopian series. I'm sure you all know what it's about. It's set in a dystopian world where our main character Katniss becomes one of the competitors in the Hunger Games which is an annual game put on by the capital in this dystopian society where a girl and a boy from the outlying cities around the capital get sent into a massive arena and basically one of them survives and the rest of them don't. Like I said, you all know what this book is about. The book I'm going to recommend on the basis of that is The Chimes by Anna Schmael. Now, I read this book a lot more recently. It too is a dystopian novel. Although this began as a young adult book, the author began writing it as a young adult book, it slowly morphed itself into an adult book and has been published and marketed as an adult book, which I think is rightly so. This is set in a future dystopian world where people lose their memories every day. And it did give me a Hunger Games feel. There are similarities in there other than it just being a dystopian. There is a romance in there, which is in the Hunger Games, I'm sure you know. There is that structure where there is a main capital city where the people are protected, where they live a much better life than the people in the rest of the country and control the rest of the world through means, although they do it through this this memory losing means um, rather than a Hunger Games style thing. I think they've got similar feelings and I think if you like the Hunger Games this is worth checking out. It's slightly less like intense action pack and a bit more of a piece of lyrical prose literature so I would highly recommend checking out this one. But the next is a young adult book that I think less of you will have read because this is a book that came out when I was a kid and I haven't really seen anybody else talk about it, but I adored it when I was a young teenager and that is Roxy's Baby by Catherine McPhail. Now this is a very gritty, realistic young adult story and in fact it is based on a true story and it's about a young girl called Roxy 
who falls pregnant as a teenager, runs away from home, unsure what to do, and ends up in this house full of young pregnant teenagers who appear to be being taken care of by some adults and these adults tell them that they will help get their children adopted once they give birth they will take care of them or if they change their mind they can keep their baby. Um, all is not as it seems though there are much more gruesome things going on in this house and it's very moving and it deals with some really heavy issues and just and it's also very mysterious because you don't know what's going on throughout the entire book. Now another very gritty mysterious book that deals with very important modern day issues is Fishnet by Kirsten Innes. Now this is my adult book and this one doesn't deal with the same issue but I think they have similar feelings to them and I think if you enjoy one you'll enjoy the other. This one deals with the sex industry and prostitution in Scotland and also has a mystery in that the main character's sister went missing six years ago and now six years on she discovers that her sister was working as a prostitute when she went missing. So it is both a mystery in where did her sister go and a kind of social issues commentary um, as it really delves into the sex industry in Scotland and the issues that women working in this industry face. Both are very emotive books and I really enjoyed both of them. Now last but not least I feel like it's a bit of a cheat because the young adult book is actually based on the adult book. But two points, some of you maybe don't realise that and secondly that doesn't mean you've all decided then to go out and read the adult book, so I thought I would suggest this. A young adult book is The Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepherd, And this is a young adult horror-esque novel. It's set in the 1800s and follows our main character, Juliet, whose father was sent into exile many years ago and she thinks he's dead until his assistant comes to London and she meets him and realises her father is actually alive, living uh, on an island in Australasia and she then travels with his assistant to go and live with her father on this island and there are some really weird things going on in this island. Her father was originally exiled for conducting weird experiments on animals and now that book is based on H.G. Wells's The Island of Dr. Moreau which is very similar but without Juliet. The original story basically follows Dr. Moreau and his assistant Montgomery on this island where the doctor is conducting very strange experiments and it's very disturbing and that is where Megan Shepherd took her inspiration and decided to implant Dr. Moreau a daughter and a bit of a romance and they're both really great. So I think if you've read The Madman's Daughter and haven't read the original you really really should to see where Shepherd got her inspiration. But those are the eight books I had to show you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like more of these videos in the future I can definitely Give it some consideration and have a look through my bookshelves, but until next time, happy reading and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!